Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com In Engineering Mechanics, let us talk about friction. Now, we will see the laws of friction. Laws of friction have two types. Laws of static friction and laws of dynamic friction. Now, let us do about laws of static friction. First one, the force of friction always acts in a direction opposite to that in which the body tends to move if the force of friction would have been absent. Suppose consider a floor and inclined plane a body is laid on that inclined plane. Now weight of that body is W act, act downwards and the normal reaction act perpendicular to the plane. Now the force P is applied this direction and the force of friction that is F equal mu R is applied backward. Now the law one tells the force of friction always act in a direction opposite to that in which the body tends to move. Suppose the body is pulled upward direction the frictional force act downward. Second law, the magnitude of the force of friction is exactly equal to the force which tends to move the body. The magnitude of the force of friction is exactly equal. Means, consider this inclined plan, your body lies on that inclined plane, weight of the body act downwards, normal reaction act perpendicular to the plane, the force P is applied here, here the force of friction F equal mu R, which means the magnitude of the force of friction is exactly equal to the force which tends to move the body. Magnitude of the force of friction here F equal P at this condition the body just tends to move. If P is greater the body move upward if suppose if P is lesser than F the body slides downward. Third, the magnitude of the limiting friction bears a constant ratio to the normal reaction between the two surfaces. Mathematically, F over R equal to constant, where F is limiting friction and R is a normal reaction. Here, a body your body lies on inclined plane here the W perpendicular downward and R is normal reaction is upward perpendicular to the surface and P is force applied pulling force here mu R that is force of friction F here force of friction F and R bears a constant ratio that is called mu that is called coefficient of friction where F is a force of friction and R is normal reaction. Fourth law the force of friction is independent of the area contact between the two surfaces. Suppose consider a, a floor, here a body of 10 Newton having some surface area that contact area 
is laid on and the body another body with same material and same coefficient of friction between floor and that body but having more surface of contact but having same weight that is 10 newton is lying on that here if you want to pull the body here and here both P is equal both P is equal irrespective of the area of contact suppose if you are applying the same force P the body both body tends to move with same acceleration means that area of contact is not the force of friction is independent of the area means the force of friction is the area of the contact is not affect the frictional force fifth one the force of friction depends upon the roughness of the surfaces of course a body is lying on on surface w normal reaction is r here force of friction p p1 here first of mu r means force of friction that is f1 put one everywhere now but w is same another surface having that the body is lying with same like previous body that is w force of friction is r r2 here f2 equal mu r2 and here the pulling force is p2 mean suppose consider this second surface with that body the roughness is greater than the contact with roughness of the first body <coughs> means we need more force to move than the than the first body means here p2 is greater than p1 if p2 is lying on the rough place than p1 lies next one loss of friction loss of kinetic or dynamic friction your force of friction always acts in a direction opposite to that in which the body is moving it is explained in previous case the magnitude of kinetic friction bears a constant ratio to the normal reaction between the two surfaces but this relation is slightly less than that case of limiting friction means when the body tends to move and it tries to accelerate the friction between the body and the contact surface is little lesser than when the body is not moving third one for moderate speeds the force of friction remains constant but it decreases slightly with increase of speed means when the speed is increased between the speed is increased the increased then the body gives less frictional force than in moderate speeds means speed is increased the force of friction is slightly decreased <coughs> 